guys. I'm Jeff from Home Built by Jeff. And I'm Mrs. Jeff. And today we're going to try and teach Mrs. Jeff how to use the TS200 TIG and stick welder. Start by unpacking the machine. You have your gas regulator, manual and accessories pack, your TIG torch, gas hose, your electrode holder and earth lead, and of course, the machine itself. First I'll cover the setup for stick welding. Identify your earth lead and connect it to the negative output connection, twisting firmly to secure it. Now connect your electrode holder the same way to the positive electrode connection. This machine requires a 15 amp outlet. Do not grind it as it's dangerous and it will void your warranty. Turn the machine on and then select MMA, which is manual metal arc. Then on the AC DC selection, select DC. Then select your current. As a rule of thumb, use roughly 40 amps per millimeter of rod size. Once you've selected the appropriate size and type of electrode for your job, you can place it in the holder at multiple angles depending on whether you're welding vertically or overhead. Ensure a good clean connection with your earth lead and you're ready to go. Now for TIG setup, ensure that the TIG torch is firmly secured to the negative output connection. Then plug in your remote controller plug with the large slot facing up and screw to tighten. Plug in the gas line, ensuring a firm connection. Now connect the earth lead to the positive output connection socket. Note that the TIG torch comes with three size tips in 1mm, 1.6 and 2.4. Your kit comes with gold tipped lanthanated tungstens, but refer to the DynaWeb website to see the range of tungstens available depending on what you're welding. Depending on your use, you may want to sharpen the tungsten, although it's not necessary for aluminium. Ensuring you have the matching collet, tungsten and body, screw the collet body, then the gas lens onto the TIG torch, place the tungsten into the collet, then place the tail of the tungsten into the back cap. Now carefully feed the tip of the tungsten through the torch and loosely screw the tail on. Now you can adjust the length of the tungsten. I like to leave it so it's about 5mm from the end of the air cap and now lock it off. Now we'll connect up the gas bottle. Remove your regulator, connect the supplied hose and tighten. Then connect the regulator to your gas bottle. For aluminium welding we recommend straight argon gas. Now connect the gas line to the back of the unit by pulling the collar back and clip it on and make sure it's secure. Turning the gas bottle on, you can see the round gauge shows the gas bottle volume. By pulling the trigger on the TIG torch, you can then set the gas flow, which I like at around 10 litres a minute. And make sure you're wearing the correct safety gear, including welding jacket, P2 dust mask, welding helmet and gloves. And don't forget to have a fire extinguisher handy. This machine has a heap of functionality, but I'm just going to run through a basic setup for welding aluminium right now. Start by selecting HF and then AC current. By clicking on the selection knob, work your way through to start on the left hand side of the display. First we set up pre-gas which can be anything from 0 to 2 seconds, I've set it at 0.3. Next select through to the start current which I've set at 60 amps. Next is the selection for upslope which is the time between the start current and the peak current. I've set mine at 1 second. The next selection gives you an option of pulse or no pulse. In this case we're just keeping it simple and going no pulse. Next I set my peak current at 70 amps. The next selection is for downslope, which I've set at 0.3 of a second. Then my end current I set at 30 amps. And then the final couple of selections is the post gas flow, which I set at 1 and I leave the balance alone and just leave it set at 0. Now let's give Mrs. Jeff a go. I think we've got a natural here. How good was that? It doesn't look too bad. <laughs> I'm definitely not an expert, but this is more what you're looking for. Create a puddle and then move along smoothly dipping the filler rod into the puddle. Alright, so that is your very first go at TIG welding and um, how did you find it, particularly compared to the MIG and stick welding you've had a little bit of a go at previously? Yeah, definitely uh, more technical to set up, but I think once you get going it's, it's relatively straightforward and uh, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's definitely a lot of fun, it, uh, it takes a bit of uh, practice, definitely. Mm. This machine has a whole heap of functionality that is Far too in-depth to get into in a very quick little video, um, but like all welding, it's all about practice, so um, practice, 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 and you'll do well. See you guys.